Oh, you know, that's what you get. That's what you get from that side, Mr Chair. I remember the worst employers in my day, sir, were the Hotel Workers' Union, sir. That's right, the Hotel Workers' Union. And I wonder who the Secretary was of that union, sir. I wonder who it was, sir. I refer to none other than Phil, I mean, what's his name, Mark Goshi, sir. Every time I got called out to a job, sir, every time I got called out to a job to assist one of the clerical workers in trouble, it was always down the road at the, sorry, sir, the Northern Hotel Workers' Union, as it was called in those days, sir. And who was the worst employer? It was always the union. Sir, I, and on a Tuesday, I'd get another call from some poor clerical worker who was, who was under the cost from the employer. And guess what? Who was the employer? Who was the employer? Ray Bianchi and his, and his mates, sir. The old, the old style unionist, sir. And so, sir, I want to say, I want to. Sorry? Oh, big yawn. Big yawn, sir. Big yawn. Because all this does, this is, this is, anybody would think that we'd gone back to 1951, sir, and we're about to smash the unions on the waterfront, sir. This is nothing of the sort, sir. All this does is, a, is, is tinker with legislation to make it more palatable to both sides, more palatable to a person, an immigrant, sir, who's looking for a job, who wants to show his wares, who wants to say to the employer, hey, look at me, I can do this job, and if you give me a chance, I'll show you. I'll give me, you give me a chance, I'll show you. That's all it says, sir. It doesn't say... It... Point of order, Lynn Polite. The members bringing you into the debate. Well, I, I would say to the members, members on occasions do take the word you a bit literally. I, don't, I didn't take the members referring to me. It was a rhetorical question. Give me the job and I'll show you. He wasn't referring to me, the chair, personally. But, so the word you is not proscribed. It is usable, uh, but it's in its context, and I didn't take offence. So I call the Honourable Tohenari. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Chair. Mr. Spe Mr Chair, it is a, that exact point that I'm trying to make, sir is that if somebody's looking for a job, who really wants a job, sir, in whatever, whatever profession, whatever job, sir, it's about putting your hand up, sir, and saying, I can do this job, and I want to be able to show the employer what I can do. Oh, well, now we hear about Pansy. Well, it's actually got nothing to do with Pansy. The 90-day bill hasn't got anything to do with Pansy because she's been a minister for two years, for goodness sake. It's not a nice... If it was about 90 days, it would have happened a year and a half ago, sir. For goodness sake. Talk about timing. Talk about timing, Mr Chairman. They're out of time, sir. Look, it's also, sir... Oh, who, who told me to sit down? There's only one person in this house can tell me to sit down. And she's at home, Mr Speaker, Mr Chairman, Mr Chair. I also want to talk about um, union access, sir. See, what it is, sir, we've had nine, we had nine years of, of no manners, no courtesies. And what we're trying to do, sir, is saying, look, if you want to come in to my workplace to my sovereign territory, sir, as my colleague uh, Mr Woodhouse pointed out, sir, wouldn't it be good manners, wouldn't it be a courtesy to stop in and to, and to, or to call or to write and say, I'll be there at 11 o'clock on Tuesday, how about it? It's, it's, it's manners. It's manners. It's courtesy. And what, that's what this government is all about too. Uh, so if it's exactly what happens now, why the big, why the big hullabaloo, sir? If it's, if it's what happens now, 
aren't we just codifying what's happening now? So why the big hullabaloo, sir? Why the big, why the big question mark from the Labour Party? Or is it, or is this the question? They are still fighting the battles that have been fought, won and lost back in the 50s and 60s out, and even to the 70s, sir. Ring the bell. I tell you. Yeah. I call.